Bhavani Shipbuilders Limited is an unparalleled name in shipbuilding in Bangladesh. The company working with relentless challenge, effort, dedication and integrity to develop this land of rivers. Since its inception, Kornofuli Shipbuilders Limited has earned a good reputation not only in Bangladesh but also the world. The great success of Kornofuli Shipbuilders Limited has opened a new horizon in our economic emancipation. By building and repairing different types of vessel, it is saving our country from a huge amount of expenditure in one side and on the other side it is earning a huge amount of money from other countries. Cornerfully Shipbuilders Limited, having one of the largest privately owned shipyards in Bangladesh, was established at Chittagong in 1994. The shipyard is built over eight acres of land, having fully equipped machine shops and two slipways, each with a length of 650 feet. Two vessels, each up to 3,500 tons, can be docked at a time. Services rendered by Kornofuli Shipbuilders Limited are design, drawing and building of treasures, tugboat, barge, cargo ship, fishing trawler, passenger vessels, patrol and pilot vessel, crew boat, naval craft, etc. Kornofuli Shipbuilders Limited is a pioneer of building tugboats and treasures in Bangladesh. During the last 18 years, Kornopoli Shipbuilders Limited has repaired and renovated about 500 and built 66 new vessels of various types. The first challenge of Kornofuli Shipbuilders Limited was to repair Kandari 1, a tugboat of Chittagong Seaport which sank in the bay near Riverbank. The company took a high risk to revive the boat and since then it has been successfully operating. Besides the company by building Kandari 7 and Kandari 8 has proved that it is possible to build tugboats in Bangladesh. This is really an example which has not only proved a milestone but also a turning point in the history of shipbuilding in Bangladesh. Experts are of tribute that Kornofuli Dockyard is a successfully amalgamation of local technology and international design. Kandari 1 was out of service for about one and a half year. Kornofuli Shipbuilders Limited has rehabilitated work by increasing its capacity after four times. It is now one of the most powerful tugboats ever built in the shipyard of Bangladesh. The successful condition of Kandari 1 has saved about 25 crore taka of the Chidong Seaport Authority. Kandari 1, Kandari 7 and Kandari 8 are all ocean-going tugboats. The tugboat has successfully rendered all sources of service in the Chittagong port for the last 10 years. The average income of Chittagong port a day by this tugboat is about 20 lakh taka. Relentlessly, Kornofuli Shipbuilders Limited has accomplished an unbelievable job. In fact, they converted a fiction into a fact by giving a new life to Bangla Shorob, one of the main ship in Bangladesh Shipping Corporation. On June 24, 2006, a fatal explosion in number no. 4 cargo tank that killed the chief officer on the ship Bangla Shorob and tow other sailors. The tanker exploded critically and sank in the Bay of Bengal. When the death of the tanker was almost certain and its funeral is almost confirmed, this time Kornofuli Shipbuilders Limited came as a saviour. 
they took a challenge by declaring that they would be able to repair the ship and make it serviceable and seaworthy once again. Karnafuli Shipbuilders Limited reconstructed the vessel in a no cure, no pay basis. No other shipyards in the country came forward to accept the challenge. Karnafuli Shipbuilders Limited salvaged the ship, towed it to Chittagong Port, where the ship was cut into two pieces and reconstructed with about 700 tons of steel to repair the damage. Engineer Rashid the owner of Kornofuli Shipbuilders Limited and his team of experts worked extremely hard from dawn to dusk and very soon they were able to give a new life into the oil tanker Bangla Shoro. <laughs> আ শিপিং কর্পোরেশন তখন এই জাহাজটা স্ক্র্যাপ হিসেবে মাত্র 420 লক্ষ টাকার বিনিময়ে জাহাজটা তাদের থেকে নিয়ে নিল ডেনমার্ক জাহাজ জাহাজটা যা যেই ডকিয়ার জাহাজটা তৈরি করেছে ওদের থেকে ওদের ইয়াডের একজন ভালো নেভাল আর্কিটেক্ট এক্সপার্ট আনলাম আনার পরে ওনারা দুই পক্ষই মতামত দিল যে এটা দুইটা টুকরা দুই টুকরা করে জাহাজটা কোন বলি নদীতে নিতে হবে this enterprising personality and his team took only 21 months to repair the ship and made it capable for regular service. Thereby, it saved a huge amount of money for a developing country like Bangladesh. It's an impossible job to possible and engineer He was the only man who was taken the initiative. Otherwise, he was the only man who was taken the initiative. At last, on 18 September 2007, Bangla Shorob restarted its voyage to Bay of Bengal with pride and success. This success has set a new era of shipbuilding in Bangladesh. At present, the vessel is operating in full swing and one of the main earning sources of Bangladesh Shipping Corporation. In 2009, Kornofuli Shipbuilders Limited formed a joint venture consortium with Vosta LMG BV, a world-renowned Dutch-German company in dredger technology. Under this joint venture, three 450mm cutter suction dredger CSD were built in Bangladesh for the first time and delivered to BIWTA. Two more 650mm CSDs have been delivered to BWDB in 2012. Six numbers of 450mm and two numbers of 500mm cutter suction treasures were built and supplied to BIWTA in 2014, which are now engaged in the dredging of Mongla Khashia Kali Channel. Two numbers of 500mm CSDs have also been supplied to BWDB in 2014. Construction of three more 650mm treasures is going on at present for BWDB. Once mighty Gurai River, the main branch of the Podda, now sees the lowest ever flow, posing a serious ecological threat to the country's southwestern region. Due to drastic fall in the flow of Gurai River, at least seven of the 15 rivers dependent on it are now nearly dead, while eight others are following. The 386-kilometer Gurai River 
An important source of fresh water in the southwestern region depends on the Podda River for its flow. To keep Gorai River alive, around 500,000 cusack of water is necessary in Podda, the parent river of the Gorai. The 943 crore Taka Gurai River Restoration Project Phase 2, began on December 2, 2010, is scheduled to be completed in June 2012. Under the project, in a stretch of 27.10 km, 113 lakh cubic meters of silt had been removed from the river in the first year by China Harbour Engineering Company. In the second and third, ending in June 2014, maintenance dredging were carried out to remove silt after allowing uninterrupted water flow in the river using two numbers of 650 mm cutter suction dredgers built by Vosta LMG and Cornofuli JVCL. The huge two numbers of 650mm cutter suction treasures were built by the Cornerfully shipbuilders in collaboration with German-Dutch Vosta LMG for the first time in the history of the country. These facilitate huge forward currency saving and also opening a new era to the shipbuilding sector of the country. The treasures have dredging capacity of 3000 cubic meter per hour. The 22-kilometer-long Mongla Ghashia Kali Channel turned unsuitable for shipping three years back because of excessive siltation in the Kumar Kali River. Till now, BIWTA has completed 40% dredging work of 22 kilometers long Mongla Ghashia River Channel, aimed to smooth movement of water vessels with its 12 dredgers along with four dredgers from private sector to ply water vessels on the river route. The aim of the project is to restore the channel's navigability, adding that it will be opened for river traffic from July this year. BAWTA would require Taka 250 crore for dredging the Mongla Ghashia Kali River channel. As per the plan, the authority awarded the work order to remove 400,000 cubic meter of silt from the channel to China Harbour Engineering Company Limited. BIWTA has to remove 100,000 cubic meters of silt from the Mongla Ghashia Kali River channel with its 12 dredgers. Among these 12 numbers of dredgers, six are 650 mm and two are 500 mm dredgers, were built and supplied by Vosta LMG Kornofuli Joint Venture Consortium Limited. These have been built for the first time in the history of shipbuilding in Bangladesh and opened a new era for saving of huge amount of foreign currency for purchasing treasures from abroad. The 450mm cutter suction treasures have the dredging capacity of 500 cubic meter per hour and 500 cutter suction treasures have the dredging capacity of 700 cubic meter per hour. Bangladesh has huge potentiality in shipbuilding sector and has received numerous accolades in building ships of different sizes as per international demand. Contrary to its high prospect, the country does not have required infrastructure facilities to aid building and repairing of large vessels. Currently, there is only one government-owned dry dock facility in Bangladesh which is not large enough to meet local as well as international demand. 
it is to be noted that almost 2,500 vessels are being handled by Chittagong Port Authority. The above vessels are mainly Handimax 200,000 to 500,000 and Panamax 50,000 to 80,000 in size.